Good morning, sir. Can we come in? Good morning. Please come in. What a surprise to finding students in the morning. Hope you don't have a class now. We are good, sir. We don't have a class schedule at this time today, so we thought to utilize this hour with you and ask you a few questions. Of course, I will try answer all the questions. But coming, thank you for coming in. Please go ahead. Such an amazing office with such a positive vibe. What part of your office do you like the most? Nice questions. I like the all parts of bits of my room, but I like the most is my working table, where I do the reviews of all my work, and along with my discussions with the students, faculty, staff for the all the operations of Triple IT Bangalore. and also future directions on a normal day what is the first thing you do at your office normal day first of all i generally thank god because to start that day with a good note and also think and and think about whole days meetings and preparations for that and the future upcoming uh, meetings and what are the plannings and al- also the road maps and uh, those are the thought process comes in the morning however i take each steps one by one and try to solve all these problems uh, and, and discussions so would you like to have some refreshments we can continue our discussion there sure let us go to uh, coffee co let me offer all of you a coffee Taking a trip down memory lane to 22 years ago, back to your first day at Triple IT Bangalore. How was your first day here? Let us have the coffee first, and and we continue our discussions. Yeah, I, it is uh, 22 years uh, have passed like a bullet so fast, and now you are asking me that question about 20 years. Let me go back to my memory lane. Uh, it was a wonderful memory of my day one. I came. from us uh, while i was working and joined here as a faculty on 9th december 2022 and there and uh, there i i started in the day one uh, after joining i was asked to teach computer networking and and i was i was planning to start teaching from 1st of january 2020 uh, to uh, 2003 at that time and and i have to prepare for my class notes my slides and discussions with my uh, colleagues who are there and also my planning for my students that they they can have a understanding of the fundamentals and the concepts of the computer network course which is a very interesting course but very difficult to teach because the students comes from different background and all to make it very interesting to them and where they can understand all those fundamentals so my day one still clear in my mind and it was related to my teaching and it was related to my joining processes and all having witnessed triple it b's evolution over the past 22 years what differences do you observe between the present institute and its early days it carries the almost all the history of triple it bangalore we started our academics in itpl which is in the whitefield eastern part of the bangalore and it was a rented premises and it was a uh, one floor half was given to uh, triple it bangalore to do the classes and also the labs and it was not adequate at that time however then institute uh, thought of uh, taking his own campus they requested the government and the government gave this uh, land of 8.8 acres in the southern part of the called electronic city and here we have a much larger classrooms labs research centers and much more uh, amenities for the students like hostels larger dining halls and also the playing grounds and also the playing rooms and gyms along with the labs and the research activities and teaching 
these things was not in a such a big way at that. And after coming here, we could have planned for our growth. At that time, it was only 300 students uh, in, the, in the starting in that campus when I joined. Now, at present, uh, today's date in 2024, we are close to 1400 students and more, more faculty, more staff and scientific staffs and all. We notice you feeding the fish every day after lunch. Could we join you sometime to feed them too? Yeah. Sure, sure. If, uh, you can join me for feeding the uh, fish uh, any day because after my lunch, I just walk down and we'll... Yes, let us go now and, and talk to the fish. Serving as a director comes with a lot of responsibilities and rewards. However, if you were to choose between teaching and research engagements, what aspect of these would you miss the most? If you ask me, uh, I, serving as a director is a huge, uh, a, a good learning and, uh, and it is also a huge, good contribution to the society as being a director. However, if you ask me between the uh, uh, teaching and research, I missed both. Uh, a lot, particularly I miss teaching because in teaching uh, what happens to the f uh, fresh and young brains where we mold them to understand the fundamentals and the concepts of their subjects and, when by, and by teaching uh, we practically build the next generations of the country and the world who, who starts their career in this engineering and we, I, I love teaching a, a lot so my, uh, I miss that. Um, a, a little bit, not much, but research I am still doing uh, and continuing my research with my uh, fellow lab mates and, and different projects in particularly in at present 5G advance and 6G and also IoT, Internet of Things in protocol levels. One of my seniors mentioned that students used to eagerly rush to your class. Also, once you entered, no one was allowed in. Were you a strict professor back then? Uh, yeah, that was the uh, feeling of the students on the uh, day one that I was a uh, strict professor in the starting of the semester. But after two days, they understood that why I said them that coming to the class on time. By this process, two things is being achieved. Number one is that uh, they, I wanted my students to be always punctual and disciplined because after graduation, they have to spend 30 to 40 years in their working life in different organizations. If they're disciplined and, organ and also punctual, the whole community respect that a lot, first of all, and then things become smooth. And second point is that when I enter into the class and start teaching, I am completely lost into the teaching of the class. That means I, am, I, am, I want to, when I teach, the only thing is that I am a con conduit between the board, what is written or presented, and, and the student. I am the, I am the connection between that. To stop the disturbances of the rest of the students in the class, so I made it a point uh, that, that students should come on time to the class, and also once the class is on, everything should be to, the, uh, uh, to be smooth between the board and the students when the discussion going on. If you had the chance to pursue studies at IIIT Bangalore, what aspects of the institute would evoke that desire in you? That is a very excellent question that you are asking me if you are, I study in the IIIT Bangalore. Yes, IIIT Bangalore uh, teaching atmosphere and the research atmosphere both are very conducive. That means uh, the, the students and the faculty member interactions are very open. They can barge into the, any of these faculty members a room and start discussing with them and also inside the class their interaction is very good because of the, the ratio between the student and faculty is very less the number of faculty is much higher and their faculties are from a very good backgrounds of the research and, and from a top universities of the world and students are also very good because they come through a all India selection process and as a result of which there is a very good amalgamation between the student and the faculty in the teaching. I like that thing in the Triplativis campus, which sometimes I feel if somebody jip my age or take me in the time space back, uh, then I will want to be a student here again and learn from the existing faculty a lot. How does the education in higher educational institutes today differ from that of your time? Yes, now uh, higher education... Uh, at present and the past, if I look at present, is much better because uh, at present the higher education has more flexibility 
towards the uh, taking of the new courses, uh, taking of the, that is from different department, you go to the other department and can uh, do the courses and also the research. And the more, I can also take the uh, different, different credits. And so there were more flexibility than, 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 the, than the past. So, and also the, at present, uh, the, uh, the first change of technology also has been helping uh, the higher education systems to also uh, to go go to the different uh, uh, directions than the past. So I feel now is much better than the what it, it was there previously. What should a student look for in an engineering college? Engineering college, the students should uh, look forward to a couple of things. One is the most important is the as the as the, as the technology is changing uh, very fast and all they should be more focused towards the make their fundamentals and concepts of the subjects very strong in the first two years of their engineering and in why because if your fundamental concepts of your engineering uh, side like mathematics and if you're in computer science areas algorithms data structures networking operating systems database the first 101 courses and also along with the math and applied math of engineering in, in or in your, your if you are in ec like probability, statistics, and all related things, then what happens as the as the subjects uh, changes, as the technology changes, you can gear yourself much better, and and also you will do much uh, way. You can change to the different direction. For that, first two years you should have a more fundamentals and concept. Last two years, the third year, fourth year, and and also the final year, and the, maybe the fifth year, uh, if you are in a dual degree, then you should go to your elective side and your research side more. And then you should learn in, in, in your engineering that how to do innovative idea and innovative research in this kind of things. Are engineering institutes in India considered antiquated or outdated compared to the past based on their current condition? No. At present, engineering teaching is much uh, better and uh, much equipped because of multiple things. One, the teaching qualities have been improved inside the class and also due to the available various recorded teaching materials in, in, in on the internet on the engineering side has and also the very good books nowadays available and uh, these three things has made the students to understand the subject in a much better way and and secondly at present the professors and most of the professors almost all the professors in that good institutions like us TPLIT Bangalore does research in depth in the in the areas of their teaching also so as a result of which the what is coming at present which is there and also in the future is coming so they blend the subjects in teaching in a better way research and development in india is still underfunded or it is still in a nascent phase what do you think must change and why is it important for students very good question but uh, at, at present if you ever ask me i will uh, a little bit uh, disagree with you in the first part that the research funding um, is less no that's not true research funding is good amount of money is research funded there however it can improve always every one of us everywhere in the world any country anywhere we draw, all the professors feel that there more research funding can come but let me tell you the research funding at present has in much more and many folds more than 20 years back point number two why students should take innovation in their career that is a very good question you asked but you see the, the the advent of artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning all those things will 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 solve the routine routine codings routine works so for 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 a for a student uh, the the routine jobs will be slowly go away because it will be highly automated and and if i if i look at uh, the what will be there in the future the future will be the bright if a student solves a problem, point number one, and then and for, for, for then this, uh, solving a problem has two parts. Part one is that he should first define a problem, which is not easy. Second is that to solve that, he needs to a new idea to solve it. So as I told you before that why uh, this, uh, uh, this fundamental and concepts are important while reading, that first part which will make you very strong as your base Second part is that innovation is that by uh, your classrooms, uh, interaction with your, with your professors, with your classmates and all, give you a lot of understanding 
that how a new problems has been solved in in a literature or on in reality now we are at the thinker statue but so please answer these questions without thinking this is a rapid fire round are you ready yes i am ready please go ahead describe triple it bangalore in one word wonderful place to work and land what other profession could you see yourself pursuing if you weren't a professor i would have loved to be a surgeon doctor who is your role model my father choose one csc or ec both what would be the first thing you order at a restaurant chicken soup what do you do in your free time i at free time i go for a walk what is your favorite movie anand by rajesh khanna and amitabh bachchan which is the festival you enjoy the most durga puja which sport do you like the most badminton if you were to make a movie or write an autobiography what would be the title hard work and positive attitude pays off hello sir hello how are you i'm good sir how about you good where are you going uh, i'm going to play carrom would you like to join it of course let us do sure you play carrom Yes, sir. So, Tarun, fourth year. Yes, sir. Very good. So, Peter, very good, very good. Come, sit. Pep. Hey, you people are playing carrom. So, let me join you. <laughs> very good. Very nice. Engineering students lives have a very high correlation with stress. What do you think Triple ITB does differently than other institutes in that aspect? Oh, this is a very important question in to uh, with respect to the what we read everywhere in the newspapers and various parts of the world. But in Triple ITB I personally found that students are not so much stressed in why because even though the our academic uh, uh, curriculum and all are very uh high and and take care of the most parts of the relevant academic things this it it relates to two things one uh, how the professors teaches and and if the professor teaching is very good interesting students develop interest and with that interest students enjoy the subject that is the part one if students enjoy the subject whatever it may be they there will be no stress because they love it and like it and second part of the triple i tvs i found which is helped the students not to having stress is that the playing environment other extra curricular environment and such a friendly and nice ecosystem which makes them to ventilate their rest of the times when they are not in the class or in the lab with their friends and for building themselves with the different skills and also extra curricular activities so this is the unique thing i found in triplet bangalore which students enjoyed a lot and later on after graduation also when i meet the alumni they always said that this is the best part which they enjoyed in their life in triplet bangalore tenure besides academic excellence developing soft skills and teamwork is crucial which extra curricular activities at triplet b promote these aspects yes so you see uh, academic aspects and all our main core in triplet bangalore we focus on that no doubt but along with that extra curricular act, multiple activities are there in triple it bangalore campus one of them is multiple sports sports teaches three major things one the team spirit when they work together to to play a game or match and so among the friends they develop a team spirit and which is extremely essential nowadays in industry or academia when they graduate out second thing which is silently sports teaches us that gracefully accept the defeat or win so they, they again when they defeated also they don't mind so they so the failure the teaching of failures and all comes from the sport so well and so gracefully which teach it triple itb is this multiple sports teaches them and the third thing is important is their health due to the physical exercise and running around playing around they feel very comfortable in their physical life and physical uh, fitness which is very much essential to be very productive for next 50 60 years after the graduations so at, along with that triple tv has also drama triple tv has also the photography club it has also the robotics clubs all multiple dance music 
and you name it, most of those things you will find in IIIT Bangalore's campus. What is the long term vision you have about IIIT Bangalore, maybe 10 to 15 years down the line? It's a very interesting and a very challenging question because you are asking me about 10 to uh, 15 years from now and also uh, I mean uh, what will be so if you ask me I want now we are uh, 1400 students around but I want it to grow and, uh, and uh, at least in three fours from now uh, with respect to the number of students with respect to the number of faculty staff and all those things so looking at all those things I personally feel that we should uh, have a lot mo much much larger uh, as a size more research uh, funding research labs and students are doing well uh, in the, those labs and also in the classrooms and another vision is that how to uh, bring in more fellowships for the students then they can be supported uh, for their educations because in India uh, these higher educations and also um, and also more couple of things due to the in inflations and all kind of things is becoming uh, 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 resource constraints and all. So that those things has to be taken care of from the student point of view. And also to start multi interdisciplinary courses and multiple departmental structure also because we are now growing in uh, computer science engineering, data science and artificial engineering, electronics, communication engineering. And also we have a and, and digital society kind of process science and but I am now, now looking for also the uh, bioinformatics because that next uh, this century will be the will, will be for the bio in biology and the information science the marriage of these two it looks like uh, it will grow exponentially over the time so and we are ex we are strong in uh, information science means that is called your computer science and data science and all so if we can collaborate with the biology people and biochemistry people, then that will be a huge contribution in that side of growth also my vision. So if I look at, in brief, with now students, faculty, staff, interdisciplinary activities, and all those things we need to grow by minimum four to five folds. What is the one thing you want to change about the institute in the near future? Uh, the near future is the our plan which you said is that well, we have to go on the programs, our programs more uh, broader. So as, as the new areas are coming in artificial intelligence and um, uh, machine learning and all, so we are thinking about the undergraduate program, which is my near future plans. And also uh, I am I'm thinking of developing the labs, a lot of hands-on labs for the students according to the uh, classroom has to be increased and has to be uh, placed uh, in, in place and working and uh, then the existing labs also. Thank you so much sir for giving us your time. Do you have any advice for the student community? It is, it is my friendly advice to my student community because the students are the, uh, are the our practically in, in an academia if I ask to a professor or a staff the students is our life because all the activities you see in this University of IIIT Bangalore, I tell my colleagues, uh, professors and staff, the student is the center of all activities. So I want to say that, that you, dear students, please uh, know that we are always in a well-wisher of you and also we want you to do well in your academic part. Along with that, two more things. Please take care of your positive attitude. Success and failures are always written on the wall in whole life of 40 years of professional life. Please take care of that and also I mean, that whenever you have a success, please be happy and also, and also see that your friends and others also be successful along with you. If there is a failure, which you say that it is a failure, but it is not a failure. Everything gives us a learning. So take it in a positive uh, note and also learn from that and gear up to make it a successful over the time. Health is for next 60, 70 years when in work, active working after graduations. So please take care of health because a lot of electronics gadgets are around us which keeps us in a different posture of sitting and also the stress on our eyes and health. So please take care. So this will be only two notes, well, academics, uh, your attitude and health. With this, we let us work hard to make this university a wonderful place of learning.
थैंक यू